Hello, hi. It's nice to nice to be here again today. And again, I'm going to be sharing with you a concept in legal business development. And this is a very nice basic concept. It's called plain vanilla. Let's imagine you go to an ice cream shop and you have a choice of six different types of ice cream. However, all of them are plain vanilla. They look the same. You can't see any difference. You might simply choose the cheapest of these ice creams and, and that would be fine. You don't see a difference, you go for the cheapest. Well, this analogy can actually work when we're talking about legal services. If a client comes to your jurisdiction and they need a full service law firm, they can open Legal 500, they can open Chambers, and they will see many good law firms. They all look quite similar. They are plain vanilla. They don't really stand out from one another. So perhaps the client would send off an RFP, a request for a proposal regarding the project work that they intend to do. And then they get the replies, they get the responses to this RFP and they choose the cheapest. So to be honest, you're probably not the cheapest. There is always gonna be someone cheaper in your jurisdiction. You mustn't be plain vanilla. You need to be able to stand out. And this actually works on the level of you as an individual and on the level of a company and on the level internationally, if you're part of a network, you mustn't be plain vanilla. Now, the funny thing is, if you look at your website of your legal practice, my prediction is probably most of it, if not all, is going to be plain vanilla. Um, I've worked with a lot of international law firms, and they are very, very good law firms. But what happens when you look at their websites? They're saying very similar things. For example, a one-stop shop for all of your legal needs, highly qualified and talented lawyers, well-ranked in Legal 500 and Chambers, a very big geographical footprint. Well, that's very nice but it's not gonna help you if your competitors are saying the same kind of thing. So you're being plain vanilla. The opposite of plain vanilla and how you should be able to present yourself is to communicate your unique value propositions. That's a very fancy word, but it means your differentiators, your competitive advantages. Um, these would be in terms of a practice UVP, maybe product UVP, maybe you offer something different from the competitors. So you need to be able to answer this question. Why should I work with you? And you need to be able to answer it not in plain vanilla terms. Maybe you will show that you have some specific niche areas of expertise. Maybe you have specific synergies in terms of what you can offer. Maybe you have a very specific and unique business model that gives some advantage. But if you are answering the question in plain vanilla terms, you will not differentiate from your competitors. And in a very competitive tender, a competitive environment, there's a good chance that you will simply lose. So <laughs> you, you mustn't be plain vanilla. Uh, it sounds quite easy, but it's, it's not that easy to actually implement. If you have any thoughts or comments on this, drop me an email. You can see my messages are, are visible here, jjmcveigh at nicodonia.com. And of course, you can subscribe. I have my YouTube channel and there's all of my socials. So I'm very happy if you get in touch with me. Um, and if you, if you have any questions regarding how not to be plain vanilla and about the different UVPs, um, drop me a message. I can, I can share some ideas with you. Okay, thank you.